fuck is this bitch doing? And I'm like, I don't fucking know, dude. I just love it. <laughs> This happened around a year ago and I had a friend, here's a little bit of a back check to the story. So I had a friend who was, who had a girlfriend. Now he's Armenian, she's Russian. The families didn't agree to this marriage. Now we're, they were Christian, they are a Christian family. So they didn't agree to the marriage. And I was the guy who kind of like convinced him to marry her because he really loved her. And I basically told him, dude, you're not going to find a better girl from this, from this girl. So just marry her and go get on with it. Like, it's not like your parents are going to be there forever. In the end, this is your life. You make your decisions. You are a grown up. And so that's how he decided to get married. But mind you. Our, he wanted to get married in an Armenian church and an Armenian church wouldn't allow a marriage if the boat, the spout, the guy and girl are not baptism. So the girl wasn't baptism because she was Russian. She was a Christian, but she wasn't baptism. So we wanted to baptism her and they approached me to be the godfather because I was the reason they were going to get married eventually and have a family. So they approached me and we were gonna go we were gonna go to the church and get the girl baptism. So on our way, the day of the baptism, before we go to church, now there's a godmother. I don't know if they call her a godmother, but there also is a godmother. But she's like not that important to the church. The important person is the godfather who is me. So we meet up in at their place and we were around 20 to 30 people in the house. The godmother didn't speak Armenian. She only spoke English and Russian. And what basically happened is Russians uh, have a different style, especially the older generations. Their style for dress, men dressing up isn't quite the way I do. I had long hair. I had a man bun. I used to wear, I still do actually. I wear skinny jeans slim uh, costumes and shit so slim suits so sh i wasn't her piece of pie and after we met she we were sitting around the table we were like 10 to 20 in the table we were waiting on the others the girl was getting ready so we were sitting and we they introduced me to her and stuff she was i don't know uh, I don't know how fat I should say, but she was fat. She was fucking fat. Like she wouldn't pass through a door that fat. Like she should, she must have gone sideways to pass through the door. She was that fat. So we were sitting and I noticed that she was talking to me, uh, on me. She was talking on me, about me. And she wasn't being very nice because she was talking about me in Russian, pointing fingers at me and laughing at me and i didn't like the fact that she was laughing about myself about me in front of other 20 people and uh, the 20 people were joining her and i couldn't defend myself or say anything because they were speaking in russian so my friend the husband of the girl I, we were going to baptism approaches me and says david please i don't want to get interfered in this because his fiance might get annoyed. She might get sad. Mind you, I doubt it because his fiance loved me. I was the reason for their family and she would never let anyone talk bullshit on me. So he tells me that please interfere with some stories, make some conversations in English because they're talking about you and I don't like it and I don't want to put down the girl, the godmother. And I tell him to leave it alone. I'll have my revenge. Now, to my friends who know me, they know very much that the only thing I hate more than anything is somebody to talk shit about me in my back or at my face without me being able to defend myself. I just don't like anybody messing with me and whoever messes with me, I'm sure gonna get back. I'm gonna take my revenge. It's a stupid mentality, but it is what it is. That is me. So what I do is 
I let it go, she talks, she has her fun. Later on we go to the church. Now remember, she doesn't speak Armenian, she only speaks Russian and English. But the priest there didn't speak English or Russian, he only spoke Armenian. So that was my window to mess with her. So we stand up, I'm standing on the left, she's standing on the right. The, my, what do they call her? I don't know, goddaughter? I, I don't know what they, whoever, you get the point. She was standing in the middle. I tell the priest that whatever he wanted them to do, he should tell to me because they don't speak Armenian and you don't speak Russian. So I was more of a translator from Armenian to English. So what happens is there's like 40 people standing behind us and the three of us are standing in front of the priest and everything goes on. Everything is going good. The, there comes a point where it's in the end of the ceremony. The girl and the godmother should kiss my hand, my right hand. I don't know why church. That's how they do it. That's the, the ceremony. So tradition, they have to kiss my right hand. And I tell my, I tell the girl, please, you should kiss my right hand. But to the godmother, I turned around. By the way, she was wearing a short skirt and she was wearing a cologne from under the skirt, like a Fizzo style thing. So I tell her, the priest told me that you specifically should kneel to the ground and kiss my right hand. And she was confused of course she wasn't gonna ask the priest because they can't understand each other and she wasn't gonna ask the girl because i would just tell her the same thing and she couldn't turn around and ask the others because the ceremony is going on she thought it's some kind of a tradition so imagine the girl kisses my hand this behemoth of a whale tries to kneel she falls straight to the ground she rips her skirt and the priest is looking at me like, what the fuck is this bitch doing? And I'm like, I don't fucking know, dude. I just love it. And she kneels down. She kisses my hand. And as she's coming up, she tears her skirt apart. Like the skirt tears up, up until her butt cheek. And I'm dying of laughing. And there's like 40 people behind me who have not a fucking clue what's going on. Ten of them are looking like, oh my god, what the fuck's going on with this bitch? And it was amazing. She turned so fucking red in all the pictures. Unfortunately, I can't display the pictures. In all the pictures that she she's in, her skirt is ripped, ripped. And after that, we go to the party. There was a party after that. We go to a restaurant. We have rented a restaurant. Uh, to enjoy our night it was a great day so she was sitting the whole night she didn't stand up she didn't dance she didn't drink she didn't do anything because her skirt her skirt was fucking ripped and because i was the godfather like the guy of the hour they forced me to drink now as you might know from episodes before i don't like drinking i'm not a drinker but drink this shot, take this shot, take that shot. I was at seven or eight shots and that's my pinnacle of drunk. I can't drink anymore or I'm gonna puke. And I'm so drunk that I just continue. I just stand on the table before and I'm shouting at her, bitch, kneel before me, bitch, kneel before me. And it was the best. And everybody was drunk to even notice what I have done, uh, that it was my fault that all of that happened to her but everybody was so drunk to notice and by the next day it was too late and it was practically over with so moral of the story was don't fucking mess with me because i will bite back 